tail playing a low level angel. That's Man, it's so, it's 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 it it entails being able to uh, try very very hard to um, answer the entire world's prayers. I'm essentially a department of one person who is trying to answer billions of prayers as they come in. Um, so he's you know the odds are really stacked against him, and he's sort of. He's endearingly bad at his job in that he's kind of like good at doing tiny prayers, but like anything that's even remotely like large scale just scares him so much that he's not even going to try it. And then, uh, yeah, so but basically what it means is that I get access to Simon Rich's amazing joke writing and get to like play around in this incredible world that he's created, which is like a slightly Douglas Adamsy version of heaven. Um, where Steve Buscemi is playing a very, very checked out God. And I mean, yeah, that, my very quick pitch for the show is Steve Buscemi is playing God. What more do I need to say? No, seriously, it sounds like a dream role. It's funny, man. After playing the most iconic role probably in the century of film, <laughs> It, does that make it easier or more difficult to choose roles like this? Because that sounds incredible. I mean, I think it, it definitely gives you a certain freedom of like, I don't know, like I'm not trying to fight, like I've done something that was very, very sort of, uh, as you say, like iconic and, and commercially successful and, and, and huge. So it sort of takes the pressure off trying to find that again. And I think it means that I, f I gravitate to things that are more distinctly things that like I love and are unique to my tastes and so hopefully I'm just building something that is like representative of me. Well it's funny to be in your shoes because I feel like the public wants you to put that robe and pick that wand out up so badly again. I guess so yeah I mean so to a certain extent with with things like obviously um, you know the play and, and with other uh, you know the, the fantastic you know, because the world is still expanding and still exists I think people are still interested in talking to me about it but like nothing is happening in that area so at the moment I'm just like very much enjoying playing playing like lots of different stuff. Well good for you, you know, it's the first you, year labors. You, you, you ought to enjoy the spoils of what you've worked so hard to, to well, I mean, thank you, yeah, I hope so. I mean, it's just like, I feel like I got in, obviously so incredibly lucky with getting Potter and then that's afforded me an opportunity that not many actors get, which is just to like build the kind of career that you want based solely on your taste. So I won't always get it right, but now like I, I definitely feel like I'm, I'm doing things for the reasons that just like I love stuff. 100%. It's also weird in this world of like reboots and reissues that like it does kind of leave the door open for people to ask you. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, no, I'm sure that like yeah, I'm sure there will be at some point. Yeah, that's a weird thing. Like at some point they're probably gonna remake those movies or reboot those movies, but and that that's when I'll be like tripping out. Yeah, no doubt, but not with you. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, that's not under discussion.